Hey YouTube, what going on? Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today we're gonna do some chain maintenance. Uh, you can see my chain is very slack. So um, from when I got my bike, I never changed the chain. I never um adjust the chain. All I did was just all I did was lube the chain. I should say. So. Once I lose the chain, it's good, and I kept riding. Um, I don't even remember how many miles I have on the bike right now. So I'm gonna put the bike in gear. So I have the bike in one gear. Even though in the manual, it doesn't say to put the bike in gear, but it said to rotate the back tire. where the chain is at the stiffest point. So if I rotate the back tire, that means the chain at the top gonna be stiff. So down here is even more loose, as you can see. So now you can look in your manual for how to adjust your chain. If not, you can come right here and this will tell you how much, if you still have this on your bike, by the way, because I know you guys might do some modification and take this off, but this actually tell you how to check your, um, your chain slot, the measurement it's supposed to be. So you notice I, roll, I put the bike in gear and I roll the bike back. So it's tension at the top as this right here is, is tight. So that's good. Just then um at the bottom is free and in the manual it also tell you to check the bike on the kickstand and it should be halfway from here to the sprocket should be halfway so about right here should be good to check your tension right here. So um with that said let's get into it. So guys you're gonna wanna get um Two twelve millimeter, like what I have right here. I know one of them is Mark thirteen, so, but it's actually twelve millimeter. If you have a twelve millimeter on both ends, it will fit. But I don't have the thirty millimeter with me, so I got. I have a. I don't have any twelve millimeter with me. I only have one. You need two, but I have a thirteen. So I'm just gonna use this to hold still and we're gonna pull pull it with this. So we pull it, we just back it up some. That's what you call the lock nut. You have one on each side. So you just wanna go ahead and just pull this right here, which is the lock nut on both sides. Also, um, this is a cutter pin right here. Then you're gonna have your axle nut. It should be 32 millimeter or 27. So I'm gonna, this is a 23 ZX10. I'm gonna see if it's 27 once I get to that. So these notch right here, these are called alignment marks. So that's what to make sure your tire goes straight. So if it's at, at one, two, three, four, if it's at the fourth notch here, you wanna make sure it's at the fourth notch over there. Or you can do it with a straight edge to measure the tire, make sure it's not twist to one side because you don't want your bike to be crab walking, right? So with that said, we're gonna go ahead and go on the other side. We're gonna do the same thing that we did right here. So we're gonna hold it. The reason why I'm holding it, I don't want it to shift. Okay, so this is tight, it's loose now. So that's good. So you can see we loosen this right here. Now we gotta take out the cutter pin, which you're just gonna need a pliers to take it out. So you should get a new cutter pin once you remove this. So if you don't have a new cutter pin, you can postpone the job and get a new cutter pin. So guys, I just realized I really didn't come prepare because I don't even have a need nose.
All right, so we got that out. So now we're gonna do is loosen the big nut. All right, guys, so the size of the nut is 32. So once you get a 32, let's gonna get this right here. Push it off. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. So we're going to do one turn on this one, and then we're going to go any turn, any amount of turn we do on this side, we're going to do it on that side so the wheel will keep straight. So guys, um, I had bought this tool to adjust my chain when I had a different bike, and we just going to measure this one. So we're going to... Basically, just with this, you just slide it in here. So we need to find the middle. The middle is somewhere right there. Make sure it's touching. Let the chain hang where, where it normally would hang. Make sure this part of the tool is touching up under here. And now, we, and then, once it's touching, you want to zero the tool, so we're going to bring this down to zero the tool. All right, the tool is zero. So now we want to go up and down, and then we're going to see how much we have. So we have like 35. So it's 35, all right? And we need to be between 25 and 35 and we are already at 35 so it's kind of stretch but it's kind of in spec but it's like right at the edge of getting out of spec between 25 and 35 that's it's like 10 um 10 millimeter so we like close there so we need to do some more adjustment, right? And get it down to, get it down to 25. All right, guys, so let's do this. So we're gonna have this, that, that touch that. Tool reset. So we're gonna go all the way up to the top. Hold it, we're gonna go all the way down. It's it's way out of spec, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do one turn, one turn down on that side, <coughs> and we're gonna go on the other side and do the same thing. <coughs> one turn up, all right. All right, guys, so now I, I wait to work it down. So now we're gonna measure it now. Um, we'll get that in there. Get tool touching that. Reset that. Now we're gonna go up. We're gonna squeeze this and let it drop down. And then we're gonna see what we have. Oh, shit. All right, so we'll do it again. Reset. I'm gonna go up. Hold. Come down. And then. Oh shit. Let's do it again. I'm gonna go up. This tool, when it work, it work. But it's, you gotta know how to like play around with it. Or else you're gonna be like me. All right, so we're gonna let it fall. We're gonna go up. We're gonna squeeze this. We're gonna let it drop down. 
I'm just gonna read the measurement right there. So we above 25. All right, let me see if I can hold it so it don't shift. All right, you can see we above 25 right there. And we supposed to be between 25 and 35 millimeters. So this tool is really good. I bought this maybe from in 2020, still in good shape. I lent it out a few times, still in good shape. So now we need to make sure our wheels is straight so once our wheel is straight we want to um tighten it down to 95 foot pound so guys before we torque it down to spec what we want to do is get our lock washer not a lock washer get our lock nut right here so you want to hold this side right here so it doesn't turn and get it just like that. I want to do the same thing for the other side. So guys, I just checked back. It's actually 96 pound. Actually, it's 95.9 pound, but I'm just gonna go with 96 pound because I have a analog torque wrench and there's no way I'm gonna find that point nine there we go so now if you torque your wheel and your your nut doesn't line up with a hole just go forward don't 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 loosen it just go forward and let the hole line up right there you have two you have one hole right here or one right there just go forward let that line up as you can see now we have the hole line up we can get our cutter pin I'm about to change my cutter pin because I don't have a new one. I'm reusing this one. But I'm going to change it tomorrow. So I get your cutter pin. And that cutter pin ain't going nowhere, guys. That's it. We already lock our wheel right here with a lock with a lock nut. Torque it back to 95 foot pound. It's gonna be a little more because the hole did line up, and that's it. Let's start it up and go for a ride. All right, so come here. Make sure your chain is not too crazy tight. So there's a lot of play there. So that's good. So we're just gonna go for a ride. It's way better than when it first came in. Make sure the wheel is straight. It looks straight to me. You can kind of look down on the chain. Make sure the chain is good. You can see my alignment mark a little bit. One, two, three, four. A little bit past the four. I'm gonna go on the other side. We have one, two, three, four, and it's a little bit past the four, so we good there. Also, guys, please go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Let's grow this baby together. And that's how you um, adjust your chain on a 2023 Kawasaki ZX-10.